Okay. Uh, I'm, I'm just sharing this with you, and like I said, this is something that is an intern that really changed my life. I had a patient got stabbed in the heart. When I walked in the in the ER, because I was on the ER, but the surgeon had his chest cracked open, mm -hmm. and he had his finger in the guy's heart. Mm -hmm. and they pronounced him dead. He was a young man, maybe 22, 23 years old. Drug deal that went bad. He died, and the surgeon was a Christian, Dr. Forster to be exact, said, we're not going to let him go without a fight. So he took him to the OR, took him to surgery, pumped him full of blood, got a pulse, uh, tied the uh, hole in his heart up with a suture. And, the, and since I was out in the surgery unit, I had to wait until he woke up. After about four hours, the guy woke up, and he looked me in the eye, and he grabbed me, and he started crying, sobbing, and he said, I met the devil. And I said, what do you mean you met the devil? He said, I saw you working on me. I was dead. I had never prayed. And he could feel, he went straight down into hell. And he, and he said he looked in the eyes of the devil, and he prayed. He said he never prayed before. It was never spiritual. And he said, please, God, I'll change my life. And he felt an angel or a hand pull him back up. And that's when he awoke, uh -huh. and, and, and it was the most amazing experience because he was he was legit. I mean, no one makes up something like that. And, and, and last I heard, he's completely changed his life. He gave his life to God, and I still to this day the look in his eye when he woke up, the terror. I'm absolutely convinced that he did meet the devil. And to, and once again, I've not followed up on where he's at now, but I heard he's doing really good. And if I can get that information, I'll get it for you. Okay. Uh, what was your reaction when the doctor told you uh, that they were going to sew him back up? And uh... well, I thought he was crazy because the guy bled out. He was dead. There was blood on the ceiling because he got stabbed in the heart, blood all around him. And he had no pulse. He was lifeless. And the Christian doctor said, Dr. Forrester, I'm, we're going to take him and we're going to try to revive him. And it was, the, it was actually miraculous because the guy was dead. He completely bled out. And you don't open someone's chest in the ER stick your finger in, in, in a hole, um, that's that's a last-ditch effort. And I thought he was crazy, but uh, now in retrospect, it happened for a reason. And that basically changed my whole outlook on, on medicine. And that was when I was a young intern, back in 1989. Wow. It was this amazing spiritual experience, and the guy was legit. And, and once again, no one goes through something like that and makes that up, especially if that's the first thing he said when he woke up. And by looking at the terror in his eyes, he did meet the devil. That's, but that's, I am convinced of that. Amen. Yep. Okay. And, and, I, and, and I want to write more stuff for you, and I want to get together with you, I do. I okay. Have amazing. And, and if I can ever get the records for this guy, I would like to, I'd like to be able to do a book and have documentation would be the right way to do it. Right, right, right.